This intro needs more centipede. What's going on, guys? It's the WTF Gamer Guy here coming at you with another Pixel Heck episode. And today, uh, oh, Sphinx just left. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, I had an epiphany earlier. I know I say this a lot, I say I have a lot of epiphanies. Uh, this one kind of relevated to me. Now, one of the things that really stood out to me now, obviously, I've been wanting to do this whole island in the sky type of thing. And I still kind of want to stick to that idea, but let's let's take a look here. Okay, we're the Batman. I mean, why not build the Batcave? Um, and it's not going to be exactly the Batcave because that yeah, that would take a long time. Um, I think it'd be a good idea to build a Batcave. Now the question is where. Um, I don't want to build it here simply because if I do. I have a bad feeling that the guys will kind of find out. The main goal for the Bat Cave, I feel, would be to keep it as underground as possible. And by underground, I mean like private and just locked away. I actually have enough levels to enchant. We actually need to go on a caving adventure. I think we're gonna do that this episode. We're gonna. This is gonna be a talk episode because there's a lot of things that I wanna I wanna cover today. Actually, I'm gonna bring this just in case. We got that, mm-hmm, we need this, we have shovel, okay, we should be fine, let me grab a couple more stakes, uh, I have that, there we go, okay, so, basically, some of, the, one of the main things that I really want to talk about right now, uh, I've been considering changing my name, uh, can we sleep first, and some of the people... Or at least, I was talking to some of the guys on Pixel Hack, and I, I was just thinking of, like, different names that I could pick. And I was thinking Malex Gaming. It looked like that. Um, I'm not sure why. I don't know. I just kind of kind of like it. And it kind of fits with my name. Because uh, my name, my first two letters of my name are M-A. So, I figured why not. Let's go find a decent cave somewhere. But, um, I've been wanting to change my name because my name, as it is right now, it's kind of a mouthful to say. And it doesn't really fit well with anything because it's like, oh, you have to say the entire thing in order for it to make sense. And I really don't want that. I want it to be short and simple. So I was thinking Malix, and I kind of like it. As far as like the full name, it'd be like either I was thinking either Malix Films or Malix Gaming. I was thinking more along the lines of films because I don't know, it just sounds better, I guess. And gaming is kind of generic, so I wanted to kind of stick outside of the boundary there. Uh, even though films is kind of generic too, but whatever. Another thing uh, that I run, that I wanted to change it is because I, I kind of want I I've been veering towards changing it for a very long time now. I just never got around to doing it. I still got to go around and take these things down. I haven't done it back done it yet. Um, Sphinx is actually on recording and whatnot, but uh, it's. <laughs> I don't know. I, I just felt like I needed to change it, but you know, it's been a good time with you know the name that I have right now. I, I kind of like it still. I just I don't see the need to have it so long and whatnot. And then, okay, that's the weirdest natural spawn. <laughs> um. So yeah, that's I gotta stop saying um a lot. That's kind of annoying. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to say for that. But I I kind of still want your guys' input on that and try to figure out there's a cave over there but I don't trust these biomes for uh, decent caves because a lot of them are just really shallow and they're not really they don't go there oh there's a mm, yeah I think those two connect we'll, we'll go check it out the next thing that I wanted to talk about is the f possibility now, this is coming a lot sooner than I probably can think of, but um, I'm, I'm not going to make it official. It's just I'm just going to say because it's an idea that's been floating around, and I talked with a few people today about it. But um, I may or may not be moving to the United Kingdom uh, simply because I don't – it's not that I hate it here. It's more so I want to get out and explore the world. And that's probably sounds super cheesy, but if you really think about it, 
you know, staying in one place, if you're comfortable with that, then go ahead. I'm not going to hold you against your, you know, against your will and make you. It's That's your choice. If you're comfortable where you are, then stay there. It's no big deal. Uh, this is actually a good spot. There's horses here. I actually want a horse. I actually want to get a donkey or mule so I can have mole transport. Let's go check this out. It looks like a decent cave. Ah, man. Remember the last time I tried to do this? I failed miserably, but it looks like I'll be okay. Um, so the reason why I want to move to the United Kingdom, one being is that, I don't know, it just, it's kind of the epicenter for YouTube stuff. Like, if you really think about it, where do most things YouTube happen? You know, if you really think about, oh, actually... I don't, mm, I'm gonna have to grab some trees here real quick. Um, if you really think about it, you, if you look around, you know, and you really look at where places and events are held, you're gonna see a lot of them being held at U, in the UK. And it's not so much because people just favor the UK, it's more so because there are a lot of people in the United Kingdom that a lot of the people that make our games that we enjoy and love and play, um, that's where they're based, you know? So, you know, some people are like, oh, well, every game has to be based in America. No, that's not true. There's a very few games that I personally enjoy and are based in America. One of them being Call of Duty, and that's not even an American game anymore. It's, it's a really uh, diverse game now. But I was talking earlier to Sebastian... Or Seabass, whatever you want to know him as, Sebass or whatever. Um, the owner of Paragon, because they, they're actually plant. Oh, are you kidding me? Um, I'm not. This isn't official. I'm just saying what I heard and kind of relaying it to you guys, letting you guys know what's going on in my life. Um, but they're planning on getting a, not a team house, because they're not a team. They're a company. Uh, it's more like an office, I should say, an office, and they gracefully invited us to come and stay with them. And I went on the offer because, well, one, I want to, I want to see something else, and I want to see something else in the world because I'm getting sick and tired of seeing the same old thing every day. Um, but I also wanted to really get to know more people. I wanted to know, I want to meet more people and. Uh, really get to know a lot of other youtubers because there is so much talent out there. It's insane and It's it's pretty nice to know you know because sometimes some days you're probably just like oh man I'm all I'm here by myself again doing the same old same old Which isn't the case at all. It's really not the case uh, Let's see here This cave feels like a dead end still Yeah, it's a dead end right here. I f almost feel like I should just dig down like honestly, feels like my only real option here. Um, let's go back up here. But so we, t I talked to him about it and kind of just based everything out and kind of figured out what would happen when I did. Uh, just the main thing that I'm having a problem with is because I'm a U.S. citizen and I don't have technically any work there. It, I have to get a worker's visa. And that's kind of a pain in the ass, but we'll all figure that out. Um, because, as I said, Paragon is becoming a fairly big network, and they're actually going to be be their own company, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Um, once they become their own MCN, uh, because currently they're a virtual network with, uh, what is it? I want to say Freedom. Yeah, Freedom, which is currently who I'm technically partnered with. Um, like... Here's how this works, okay? I'm just going to tell you guys so that way if you guys want to apply, you guys know what's up. Um, when you apply for Paragon, you're applying for Paragon, but you're being partnered with Freedom, if that makes sense. So basically, you're still partnered with Paragon, but you're under the name, like, in the at the end of the day, you're under the name of Freedom Network, um, Freedom.tv, which... It's beneficial, but it's also bad at the same time. The reason being 
It's bad for Paragon especially, um, because they take 50% of all profits that made. That's why us YouTubers on the Paragon side, we get so little. But that's not really the reason why you should ever join a network. It's never because of the money. Well, it depends, because if you're really trying to you know, get paid for what you're doing, which most people do, including myself, I like, you know, I, I, I want get to start, get, start getting paid for this because I put a lot of work into this, and, uh, you know, any little bit helps, especially for me, but, um, veering away from that topic, it's especially important, oh man, there's like no caves around here, this is stressful, but, um, uh, what was I saying, um, if you're looking for cash, just cash, then I, I honestly, I wouldn't recommend going and getting partnered simply because you're not going to get as much as you think. Unless you have 500 to 500,000 to a million subscribers, you're not going to really get that much. Um, you might get it if you're, I think if you're under like 50 K, you only, you will barely make a hundred depending on how much you, uh, how much people view your channel. Or view your videos, you might get a hundred dollars at the most per month. Um, but I, I don't know that for sure. I need coal. I need a lot of coal. Let's see here. Honestly, I th oh, man, I, I want to go caving. I need more diamonds. But it's being a little douche now. Like, <gasps> Ooh, oh, is that? Oh, yes. Oh, this is so sweet. And there's a K. Look at that. Is there a K right here too? No. Oh, that's so sick. Two of my favorite things all in one place. Cool. I want some of this. Dark oak wood. This is really... Oh, dude, look at that. That's so sexy. Um, but, so basically, when you join, you're partnered through Paragon, but you're partnered with Freedom. So, it, it's confusing, but it makes sense after, you, after you're there for a while. But... Oh, geez, lag. Why am I lagging? That was weird. Um, so basically, I need to... Uh, whatever. I just wanted a little bit. Oh, yes. Bleth. All right. So it's going to be nighttime here. So basically, what is going to happen is... Once Paragon becomes its own individual network and they become a licensed company in the UK I they can actually apply for my work visa as a what was it it was a video something something it, it's all there is a professional title for youtubers I don't remember what it was but it's a fairly long and boring one but um, but if that's basically just to signify that you know, hey, we want, we need this guy to have a work visa so he can actually come here and work with us, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And the only thing I'm really having a bad feeling about is they might pull the, uh, the hold. Well, if it's an online company, should you have, you know, stuff like that. But um, since they are getting a quote unquote office, it kind of makes it more sensible in a sense. Uh, oh my God, these caves suck so much. This is why I hate caving sometimes. It's just like, I come here to come find caves, and I get crap. Like, this is just retarded. <sighs> Man, I should have lived in a plains biome. Should have lived in a plains biome. Mm. Wouldn't have these problems, would I? Nope. Nope, you just had to pick a savanna. You just had to poo. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's see here. What kind of scary monsters we got out here? Nothing. Okay, whatever. So, yeah, that's... That's kind of the plan right now. It's going to be a while before that officially happens. Um, so it's kind of nice because it gives me time to really think things over and uh, figure out if I really want to do that. And I, I, right now, it's I feel like it's a great idea, um, especially coming up on my you know, real adult life, at least legally. And uh, is that lava? I think that's lava. Yeah. What the hell? Why is that on fire? What the f... Oh, okay. Yeah, just lava. 
was like, does someone come in here and start lighting things on fire for no reason? That's kind of weird. Um, let's see here. But, you know... Because most people, they would look at it like, oh, you're young. Why would you want to do that? That's such a big move and stuff like that. Well, yeah, it's a big move, but, you know, it's really... I would look at it more as an achievement more than just, like, a a reason to look down on someone. Like, you know, you don't see very many people just getting up and moving out on their own and doing these big things, you know, for themselves. It's... To me, that's like, holy crap, man, you're, you're really doing it for yourself, man. And I, I think that's awesome. I, I, I like it when people do that. I think that's really that's a really good motive to have, uh, to really want to do that. Please be a good cave. Please be a good cave. Please be a good cave. Yes, zombies. That's a good sign. It's a good sign. It goes down even more, too. That's a great sign. Don't. Don't. Damn it. All right, whatever. I just want the iron, I guess. Um... So, I mean, if you're, if you've been thinking about it, like thinking about moving out of country or out of state or whatever, I'm telling you, if you really want to do it, it's worth it. Well, it's not worth it unless you know what you're doing. Um, I, I know what I'm doing. I'm, you know, I'm a very smart person. I'm fairly intelligent. Um, you know, most people look at Americans and they think they're all idiots. It's not true. I'll, I'll be completely honest. Yes, we have our morons here, but it's not everyone here is stupid. I'll, I'm com being completely honest with you. Um, you know, and it's, to me, a lot of the times when people look at Americans and think they're stupid, it's mostly because of our pop stars and a lot of our teenagers and yeah I kind of put myself in that field but I'm not exactly the same as them <laughs> because I mean yeah I'm a teenager but I'm not stupid I guess I could say oh my <clears throat> come here zombie kill you I'm gonna I'm gonna put my rage out on you thank you for letting me kill you with such ease um so yeah I don't know it's just whatever I guess Let's head back to base here, because I can't find a stupid cave. I'll go caving later off camera. I think it's right over here. Um, unless this is a cave. Nope, it's not a cave. That's just a hole. Bye, creeper. Nope, bye, creeper. Is that a skillet or a jockey? No, it's a horse. <laughs> Bang! All right. But, um, yeah, so kind of like where... The, probably some of you are asking, like, whereabouts are in the UK? Um, from what I've been hearing, it's somewhere in Bristol. Um, Bristol, United Kingdom, uh, simply because it's near London, and mostly, mostly the events are either in Bristol, or near Bristol, or in London, and I think a train to London from Bristol is like 45 minutes, so I've never been on a train either, believe it or not, um, I've never been on an airplane, I have been in boats, but not big boats, I've been in like, you know, uh, houseboats and pontoons and stuff like that, but I've never been in a uh, like a cruise ship or a jet. I've I've never flown. I've never been in a train. I've been in a train, but not one that was moving. I was very little too. So, yeah, it'll be a first for pretty much everything, uh, except for the boat thing, probably, unless we plan to take a boat to like Ireland or something. But uh, let's see here. We're at 18 minutes. <laughs> Uh, I think I'm just gonna end the episode here with me sleeping. I'm sorry, like, uh, I hate doing this because I feel like every time I do a video, I always do, like, um, talk videos, but I think next episode is gonna be a more work ep episode, so look forward to that. Um, I'm gonna record it literally right after this, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I hope you guys don't get mad at me too much for ranting too much or talking too much, but I will see you guys in the next. Oh, I forgot, Sphinx is on. Um, but I will see you guys in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.